It's the beginning of a new era, and it's time to drop the game here at 81. Let's go! He got a bit of a roll in there, and then there's contact. So we uh, we here for the new graphics of the new Yamaha bikes. Big uh, global uh, partnership uh, between Yamaha and Monster, and very cool event where we we had chance to meet different uh, people from around the world and championship and sports. So that's pretty cool. And again, Yamaha and Monster uh, are doing the best uh, the best for sports. Hey, you gonna race? Or is it just dry? Oh, out there? Yeah. Oh, I'm not Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, wait, I'll go sign up. Yeah, we don't have to. You do? Do that. You do that. Ah, scare me. Do <laughs> <laughs> you ask you what number you are? What's the card number? Uh, <laughs> go ask the guy. Go ask the guy. Oh, I, like, I actually need to. I thought you were messing with me. Excitement for a go kart race. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what happened at the end? Uh, I tried to do a 360, but I'm not that good. <laughs> and uh, you guys contact, and then I, I took the inside. <laughs> Some good battling. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, got, it, it got dicey. It got dicey. Well, let's wind the clock back a couple of weeks to Anaheim One, main event, on the crazy scale from zero to ten. Where was it? Well, on the crazy scale, it was really crazy when I was going over the tunnel. Oh, oh the he's down. down on the bridge. Oh, I bet he slipped up. I bet In the lead, crashing, or knowing I was going to crash and I was potentially throwing away the chance of victory. For the beginning of the racing season, it's round one of the 2023 Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship. Not uh, only are we coming in as the champion, but also coming in on a whole new motorcycle, so it's a whole new challenge for us. <laughs> Which makes it a little more I think fun, but also at the same time a little scary. It's always nerve wracking coming into round one with a new platform and it's a new motorcycle. There's so many unknowns. Shopee One, uh, the track was very naughty with all the rain we had in California. I mean, Eli Tomac only enjoys winning. You know, I'm always there to be competitive and going for the race win period. I'm not there for, uh, for cruising around. There is nothing like this moment at Anaheim One as the clock counts down. And it's time to drop the gate here at A1. Let's go. Uh, good luck, Pete. Every time I've been, there's always extra energy there and, and excitement and nerves. And I try to get over it, but it's always there. It's more of like a race where you just trying to gather all that information and then apply that to the next couple of races and really find your base and get get running with it. Eli didn't want to sign. He had no interest in re-signing with them until he had tried the new bike. So my very first ride on the new 2023 YZ450 was actually in the summer and that was my time to be like, hey, I'm, I'm going to sign up and race another year or maybe going to be done. Eli, yeah. A lot of times in those situations, it's, it's over, but uh, Thankfully, the motorcycle stayed stayed together. It stayed straight. I was able to to get right back in my zone. what this guy has accomplished and he is certainly probably going to go blowing by my record of all time supercross wins
even if it is his last year, which we hope, everybody hopes not, nobody wants to go out not on top. I think the fire is even more there now to prove that he's still not done. Well, it's like slow motion, I'm like, oh my god. Well, you didn't give up. Nope, I, I looked up, I'm like, you know what, man, they're not that far away. No, you were faster yeah. than that was insane. Oh, That's the way to win it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I was fighting people off on Twitter on Monday and Tuesday saying there's no chance this race will be postponed. California now where there is no end in sight to the waves of powerful storms hitting the Golden State. We have mud races and supercross. This is a whole nother level. 26 million or two thirds of California residents are under a flood watch. With the amount of rain that we got in Oakland, uh, we just felt it was best that we, we postpone the event to make sure that it's as safe as it can be for everyone involved. Okay, so that's the news. The Oakland round of Monster Energy Supercross will be made up on February 18th. One, two, three, four. Uh, very uh, nervous with the new bike, you know. We didn't know what to expect. I never, I never tried like during the last season. So like, um, yeah, when we started the super cross testing, uh, day one I felt, I felt just great. Yeah, I think uh, we proved that uh, with Eli that the bike was great and it was a big relief for me because uh, I was struggling on the old, the old bike and, uh, and yet the new bike in Supercross was just so much better and uh, so much fitting my style. I would say my dad's more line selection on the track, technique if he sees me doing something wrong. For the motorcycle, he can see stuff too. But a lot of that does rely on rider feedback and then can you feed that back and get that right translation to your, to your guys on the team. It's honestly a, a big team effort that way, but going back to my dad, a little bit of everything. Dylan, uh, you know, unfortunately had a injury but then came back from motocross the nations and so as soon as we got back from motocross the nations uh we jumped straight on the new bike and we've been testing with them since right after motocross the nations and he has been really receptive to the new bike loves the new bike everything about it and i think it's suiting him so much more for supercross he's enjoying supercross again well looking at this year i feel like it's going to be very similar to the same group of guys that was running up front you know obviously jason i mean he tied me with the with the race wins you know in the series uh, Chase is going to be very strong, very fast. Roxon now and and Webb and those are the the guys at the the top of my my list that I'm up to really you know watch out for. His biggest competition is himself. Um, I don't think there is one particular person. There's a lot of good riders. You know, there's probably a handful of guys that can win at any given time. But you know, just like every rider, I think every rider's biggest competition is yourself. I was pretty nervous at Anaheim, but tracks in much better shape. Learn, keep learning. I'd like to run up front with those guys, I know I can. So. Definitely, and so uh, he's gonna be pushing us all year long. Eli Tomac, back-to-back -back win.